everyone and welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review. I thought I would do a review of the QQQs here today. Uh, just uploaded actually the room I taped this morning and I was listening to myself talk in the morning. It's funny because I, I have such a, such a skill for reading the market and stocks before the day in, in that morning period. In that morning period, in the morning before I trade is the most important time to listen to what I'm saying if you're in the live room. Because the things that I say in the room turn out to be true like 99.999% of the time. Not just with the read of the stocks that I trade, but also the market. And the interesting thing is, uh, you know, at one point today, right around the late uh, morning, early afternoon, lunchtime period, it looked like the market was going to fall today. I didn't think it was going to. I thought that we'd probably close neutral then. When I closed out the room around 11 o'clock, I thought, we'll find neutral. Neutral slash bullish, I said, for the day. But you know what? The market's going to get over the high. It's going to get over the high here, it looks like, before the end of the day, which is the original read that I had on the market <laughs> this morning. I said, I have 100% conviction the market gets over the high today in the QQQs. I said, no chance of failure. The market does not get over the high today in the QQQs. And the market in the QQQs are going to get over the high today. Now, they're not going to get to the target of 97. Well, I don't even want to say that. 96.50 was the first target. And that looks, re well, 96.30, 96.50. 96.50 looks realistic here for a target in the QQQs today. But there's two hours left of the day. And to get up to 97 is not a stretch, OK? So again, you learning how to read gaps. It's, it's gaps. I read the gap in the QQQs today. When I made the prediction, when I gave the call that the QQQs and the market would hold today in the, in the morning, when I made the call before 930, I read the market gaps. It's the same thing I do in the stocks that I trade. I am so incredibly good at doing this before anything happens and seeing where these stocks in the market are going to go before they happen. And this is, this is how you get conviction. And even I myself, day after day after day, the longer that I do this, the more accurate calls that I continue to make, even in something like this today. This market, the market gapped down today, but and I'm sure a lot of people looked at this as bearish, but I was actually bullish, and I was just spot on. We will close with a green body today in the market. We're, we're not going to close neutral. We will close strong, and we will gap up tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will gap up tomorrow in the QQQs and the SPY, and there's some big, big names coming out tonight for earnings after 4 o'clock, and they're going to help give this market a lift to gap up over the high, plus the fact the market wants to go higher anyways. So conviction means so much. And how do you get conviction to take risk? You get conviction to take risk because you know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. You know how to predict that something's going to do something before it doesn't, and I'm able to do that. I'm able to personally do it, and I am teaching people to personally do it because you do need to learn from me how to do it. Because I've said this before, and I'll say it again, I'm not going to be teaching people how to trade the stock market forever. I'm not going to be doing this forever, teaching this class, running the room. I'm not going to be doing it forever. I, I make these calls, like the calls I make today and some of the other things I've seen and the way I've called this market just incredibly, incredibly accurately, incredibly well. And I just don't know what the future holds for me, but I know that it's something big. And if you want to learn how to trade, the time is now. If you want to learn how to trade, the time is now. To come to me and take the class now and not to wait. And people that wait, and I'm sure some people will, are going to miss the boat. Because there's going to be a time I'm not doing it anymore. And I'm just going to trade or go do something else because I know that there's just... I know what I know is so special. I know what I know is so special. I know I have an incredible talent and skill for this. The market is going to close exactly the way that I read it this morning before the open. And I should just start to write down everything I say every day because the reality is that even sometimes things look squiggly and they end up playing out exactly the way that I thought that they would before the open. And why? Because I'm reading the gap. Because I'm reading the gap. I'm reading the gap. The gap, the gap, the gap. And there's just a hard gap today to read in the market. A lot of people thought this was bearish. It, we did gap down. We gap down. We closed on Friday night. On Friday night, we closed at 96.12. And this morning, we gap down. We gap down and open at 95.55. That's a reasonable gap down for the market today. That's a reasonable gap down for the market today. It's 60, 65 cents or so. And we did gap down, okay? And people keep looking for a pull in anyways. And I thought 
that, you know, the way that we closed Friday, we would lift immediately on through to the gap up into the pre-market this morning. We didn't do it. But I saw when we got up and I got this morning that the market did not gap up. I saw that we weren't gapping up. I saw that we were not going to gap up then into the open. I saw the gap down in the market this morning and I read it right. It was still bullish, okay? Not bearish enough to short. Even though people are desperate to short this market. Desperate! And even if the market doesn't close all the way up in the next target here into, into the next two-hour period, which I think it does, but even if it doesn't, this market is still going to get up over the high. And people keep trying to short this, and it's just flat-out nuts now. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. But I think the most valuable thing that I have to offer people in my class, one of the most valuable things is I, that I teach people how to correctly read gaps. And, and I just do not think that people understand. And I'm going to talk about it in the webinar today. I really, I don't think, I don't think anyone understands what me actually. <laughs> I don't think anyone understands what me because I'm, I'm just, uh, my accuracy level is so high that it, it is so important to understand gaps. It's not about whether or not you're going to play them. If you don't want to trade gaps for a day trade and you don't want to trade gaps for a swing or core trades, if you don't want to play gaps to take the trade in the gap, you still need to have to understand how to read gaps if you want to read charts accurately. You still got to know how to read them because you could be in something and actually take a position in something Buying something into support or shorting something into resistance or doing whatever, and you could be hurt against the gap if you don't know how to read gaps right. Or you could take something out and it might be fine, it might be a nothing gap and miss profits, okay? Or take an unnecessary loss. So the reality is that understanding gaps and how they work, what they mean, how to read them, the directional bias of them, what ones are good, what ones are, is imperative to making money as a trader. And I don't care if you play gaps or not. You gotta know how to read them. And most people don't. That's what I have that is so unique and so special. Call it a niche, call it an edge. It is definitely, definitely a very high edge. And I understand the importance of that. I understand the importance of reading gaps for being successful as a trader. And many people don't. They just think gaps do gap fills and all kinds of things. And people don't get it because gaps don't fill themselves. And you have to understand how to read them. And no one should be taking overnights actually in any stock or any ETF or anything, anything at all, overnight past four o'clock if you don't know how to read gaps because it could wipe out your account. You've got to learn how to read gaps no matter what kind of trading you do. It helps you read price. And I'm going to talk about this in the webinar tonight at 4.30, but this market's going to close the exact way that I read it this morning. I don't even know why I'm surprised, but I don't even know why I'm surprised. But I continue to increase my own conviction level when I make calls way before the open. Then it looks squiggly for about 20, 30 minutes an hour. And then it ends up doing exactly, exactly, exactly what I said it would do based on the gap. Based on the gap. So we'll see where this market goes. Definitely higher. Definitely higher the rest of the week. Definitely higher the remainder of the week. It's only Monday. Okay. Look for a gap up in the market, post-market, after hours tonight, and into tomorrow morning. I don't see anything stopping that from happening now. We're going to have a strong close here today. It may not look like a big green body, but it is a strong close because of the way that we traded today. All right? And some high flyers out tonight and some earnings reports as well. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. Come to the webinar tonight if you have time, 4.30 Eastern time. Guess what the topic is? Trade on the side of institutional money. How am I able to read these things? How am I able to read the market? Because institutions make and move the market and stocks and everything else. And here's the market. Here's the market. Here's the market right now, 16 cents over the high. It's going to be over the high in 16 cents. Jeez. Good call on me this morning on this market. I should have gone along the market, too, besides the short I did. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everybody. Email me if you'd like more information. And if you want to do the class, it's this weekend. July 26th and 27th is the Golden Gap class, which teaches you how to read gaps. Whether you want to day trade them or swing trade them or core trade them or however you want to trade, you must learn how to read gaps, directional bias and gaps, so that you can correctly read overall directional bias when you're taking a position in a stock or the market or an ETF or anything that you want to do. Whether you want to do it for a day trade, an equity trade, an option trade, anything. Email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Again, the class is this weekend, July 26th and 27th. Great call I made today in the market. Tough gap to read, and I read it spot on. The market will close 
strong today, no matter what the size of the body, and gap up tomorrow morning. Have a great night, everyone.